Okay, YouTube, Major Chord here uh, for a video contest entry. And out of my normal style, today is going to be short and to the point. Uh, this entry is for the one and only Mr. Jimbo Fox. As you can see in this video, he has a huge special announcement and a mega, mega give giveaway. Um, so, let's get down to business. Uh, since you're on video, I'm obviously entering for the first prize video package. First, must be a subscriber. Check. You must have at least one actual review of something longer than three minutes and at least 30 days old. I prepared in advance for this. This is totally unlike me. Okay. Here's by me, Major Chord 1701. Gear review the Slim Clip. This thing. I love it. Check out the review. Okay. And date posted. Uh, can you focus on that? November 9th, 2010. Oh, focus. Come on. Uh, it's November 2010. So it's more than 30 days old. Okay. I will link this to the description box. I will even link Jimbo's video to the description box because I think y'all need to see it. Uh, the important announcement is pretty freaking awesome. Okay, let's see. Point number three. You have to tell me what you like about the Mr. Jimbo Fox channel and or what you'd like to see more of in the future. Let's see. What I like best about this guy is that his reviews are br brutally honest without being offensive. You know? Um, and furthermore, that he reviews knives that I can afford for the most part. Uh, he reviewed the Kershaw Half Ton. That's a $10 knife. I don't have it, but I want to get it soon, okay? Uh, he reviewed this Spyderco UKPK. Good, cheap, affordable knife. High quality. Um, I'm a student. I'm broke. But I like knives. So there has to be some balance there. Um, you know, I don't think I own a knife that's more than $40, nor would I want to at this point, because I simply cannot afford it. Uh, so, I definitely love that he does reviews of low-cost, high-quality knives, and I think that's definitely what I'd like to see more of in the future. I want to see more of them. I mean, I think recently he put an HK knife review up. But there are so many other uh, knife lines out there, like the Sog Fusion line, uh, the Bird line by Spyderco, that are just, you know, good, high-quality knives that are affordable. I mean, very affordable. I don't think I've ever paid more than t 20 bucks for a Bird knife. Um, so they're definitely high-quality knives at a good price, and, you know, I think... He, he'd do right to give them some attention on his channel. But other than that, I mean, definitely, he's a high-class knife reviewer, and I, I have nothing to complain about. I enjoy pretty much everything he posts, Force Multiplier, all that fun stuff. I, I'm subscribed to uh, Jimbo247. I, I think that's the channel. Um, and I love the soda reviews. I can't get a lot of those brands around here, but, you know, if I'm ever interested, I know I can order them offline. And I just think it's... It's it's all around good entertainment and a lot of good information. So, you know, if anyone's not subscribed to this guy, do it. Uh, obviously, won't be entered into this contest, but that doesn't matter because what you're, you know, seeing him for is the content he provides, which is just damn good content. There's something on my screen. Okay, and number four. Tell me about a hobby or interest that you have that is in no way related to guns, knives, or gear. This is another simple one. Uh, at least for me. As some of you know, I sing in a choir. I love it. Don't say anything, you know, negative about it or I will find you. Um, honestly, I think, you know, some of the most manly thing a guy can do is to sing. It's very, you know, you put your emotions on the line and it's all around fun. I don't play sports, but I'm, I'm definitely a musician. Um, and that's just my thing. And for several years I was part of a very, very good high school choir. Uh, probably one of the best in the country. Um, and I'm sad that I, you know, had to graduate and leave them, but I found another good group in the area, and I'm now singing happily with them. So as my way of showing you my interest or hobby, um, I'm going to bring up iTunes and splice in a recording of, let's see, a song from one of our, my, my last high school concert. Uh, what one do I want to do? Um... Elijah Rock, because it's already highlighted, and it's not too long. Uh, a little background on this piece. Elijah Rock was written by Moses Hogan, a uh, very famous African-American uh, composer, mainly spirituals and gospel pieces. 
Uh, wonderful guy. I wish I could have met him. Uh, he died a couple years ago. Rather young, too. But my high school chorus director did meet him and was actually friends with him, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, so needless to say, we did his music a lot, and I'm quite fond of it. I think we did at least one on every concert for the past couple years. Oh. So sit back, guys. Enjoy Elijah Rock. And please have yourself a wonderful day. Uh, good luck to all those entering. Yada, 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 etc., etc. I'll make another video soon where I just sit and talk to camera. Um, but this, I have business to do. So, this is Major Chord, signing off. See ya!